What's going on, gang? Matt here, Country Song Teacher. Hope you're doing well. I had several requests for more Christmas songs, so your wish, my command. We have a lot of fun. Jam some Christmas songs. I love this one. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. I'm going to tell you, you saw, instead of putting my usual beginner guitar lessons, I just put guitar lesson. Because there's a lot of chord changes. It's going to be a little advanced for the strumming. We're just going to... Go down, kind of a palm mute. So you're just just picking down the whole time. So no up strums on this one. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. That right there. We're gonna down strums. So if you like, just down strums. Smash the like button right now, right? You know, y'all know I had to throw in. Where's my pillow? Oh, you can't see it in the screen there. I had to throw in the good old like button. Um, I got my chords on the screen. I'll put the link that I use in the description below, uh, because like I said, it's gonna be a lot of chord changes. Real fast too, I need a request for you all. Y'all know I started another YouTube channel called Money With Matt. Today I did a video called Smiling and Laughing. And it talks about how often do you laugh and smile. I want y'all to go check that out. That'll be your Christmas present to me. Go check out that video and let me know what you think. And really ask yourself, how often do you smile and laugh? It's super important in business and relationships and life. So go watch that video and smash the like button on that one and subscribe. That'll be the Christmas present from you to me. Now let's dive into the lesson. I got the capo on the third fret. We'll start out with an A chord, kind of an A5, just the two middle strings of your second fret. Strum from the bottom five down. Oh, holy night. Go to D. The stars are brightly. Back to A. Shining. It is the do an E7 now, which is the third string and the fifth string. So all the chords right there are A is A5, regular D, third second, I mean third bottom second, and then the E7. So remember it goes, oh holy night, the stars of Riley I love this chord. I play it all the time. This is one of my track chords called a C sharp minor. You need to learn this one. You're going to take your ring finger and pinky finger and put on the sixth fret. Again, so it would be on the ninth fret relative to the capo. But if you want, you can see those little dots in your, look at the fourth dot on top of your guitar. You can't see this dot. One, two, three, four. But put those two middle, play those two middle strings pressed with your ring finger, pinky finger. Skip that fret and then play the fourth string, I mean the fifth string of the fourth fret. <laughs> Now you go to the C sharp minor. Um, I mean a G. I mean that was a C sharp minor. That one, that track chord. The G sharp seven. Just go to the third fret, play the fifth string, and then play the top string of the fourth fret. It's back to C sharp minor. So remember, you guys, if nothing else missed lesson, make sure you learn that C sharp minor. Again, it's called, I call it a track chord. You're going up and down these tracks, but take your ring finger, pinky finger, put the two middle strings of that sixth fret, skip the fifth one, play the fifth string of the fourth fret. So you're skipping that fret. Then back to E7. A thrill of A. The weary soul rejoices. Now you go to an F sharp minor bar chord. Did he really do a bar chord? Matt, we don't follow you for bar chords. I know. But let's work on this. Just clamp. Take your thumb and first finger. Clamp. That second fret. Just clamp it. Just clamp all the strings. So again, cape all still third fret. Clamp it. And you're again take that ring finger and pinky finger. And try to play the fifth and fourth string in the fourth fret. You're clamping the second, fifth and fourth string. That's a F sharp minor. I struggle with this one. You can even use your middle finger to press down extra on your first finger. So, on your, go to C sharp minor. Oh, yeah. If you can do 
a B minor bar chord, knock yourself out. This is the last chord you're going to use. But if you're like me, you struggle with bar chords, play an A minor, which is second, fourth, and third. Regular A minor chord, slid up two frets, and that's going to be your B minor, strung by the four. So in this lesson, if nothing else, guys, learn this B minor, an easy way to play the B minor, and that C sharp minor. And even if you go slow playing this song, just slowly walk through it. I'm telling you, it's going to expand your core base and just kind of get you overall um, used to doing more stuff on the guitar than my regular old G, C, E minor. Day. So it goes. B minor. B angel back to F sharp minor. So, you see all the chords. Let's see, so all the chords you need to know for this song. It's going to be an A or an A5, just those two middle strings. A D, an E7, which is an E without your ring finger on the string. An F sharp minor. A C sharp minor. That G sharp 7. I still struggle with that one. Half of mine sounds awful on that time. Um, and what else? And then the B minor. So let's play through it. Hope we can see the chord changes that I'm doing here. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior. All right, guys, if you want to see more of my Christmas songs in YouTube here, I always say in the search bar, type in Matt McCoy, my name, Matt McCoy Christmas. You'll see all kinds. I taught Mary, Did You Know, uh, Frosty, Jingle Bells, but Silent Night, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so be sure to type in my name, Matt McCoy. Make sure you guys subscribe to all my channels. I got a Prime Country channel, this one, Acoustic Selection, and now even Money with Matt. This is my full-time job. I do this all the time, so I'm always making videos every day. So be sure when you see my videos, Always smash that like button. That's how you support your favorite YouTubers by subscribing and liking their videos because that puts it out there in that YouTube world. If you want my simple lessons, not like all these crazy chords like this, go get one of my songbooks, one of those things at my website, Country Song Teacher. All one word, all the links from the bio, countrysongteacher.com. Got four chord songbooks, prime country songbooks, worship songbooks, beginner DVDs. I just, I've been mailing these out like crazy. Um, all kinds of fun stuff. So go check those out. If you want good stocking stuffers, a lot of people are buying these. I got a uh, Praise in 10 Days. That's a very beginner. If you never touched a guitar, should have you play in your first songs. Learn guitar too, get you a little more advanced, like the track chords, that kind of thing. And I got a beginner uh, piano DVD. If you know nothing about piano, want to play some songs on the piano, which I love right over there. I do all the time. Go check that out. CountrySongTeach.com. Love you guys. Till next time, let's go.